I want to share with you guys a story, something that happened to me a couple of days ago at my job and what I learned from it. So I'm a server and I had a table of three guys, two middle-aged and one really young. I'm serving them and I go back and one of the middle-aged guys says, hey, we were making a bet here to figure out whether you were in school or not or if you had goals. And I was like, oh, well, yeah, I did go to school. I'm not in school anymore and I do have goals. And they were asking, well, what, was, what university did you go to? What degree did you take? Things that I really don't care about. And I answered them, but then I said, I'm not pursuing what I went to school for though. I am choosing the entrepreneurship route because I wanna be a life coach and in the future I would like to be an advocate for this and blah, 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 and all these things. I went on and on about all my goals. And they were like, wow, that's amazing, yeah. And then one of the younger guys says, oh no, I wasn't trying to tell, I wasn't trying to say that you don't have goals or anything like that. I mean, I was doing the same thing that you're doing right now. I was serving tables and yeah, like I was doing the same thing that you're doing now. And then they started to feel bad for judging me. And then they started making like, trying to relate to me, trying to help me, give, give me connections. Say, hey, yeah, yeah, I know this person that wants to be a life coach too and all this stuff. And I appreciated whatever and then I walked away. And I don't get offended. I do not get offended. I learn. I learn from people. I learn from these opportunities. It's why I like my job. Because when people sit at a table, they show you sides that they don't show anyone else. And you can learn so much about their character from how they treat their server, from how they ask for uh, stuff, from how they order and how they act and how they what they talk about at a table. You can learn so much from people when they're at a restaurant. And so I take these opportunities. But the thing that I learned here is that people are afraid to say where they came from. You know, they only like to talk about the school that they went to and the degree that they got and the certifications and all that. But they don't like to recall or are ashamed of talking about when they actually were struggling or maybe not struggling, but when they had to do the dirty work, when they had to do the things that don't look so good or sound so good and don't sound impressive. But guess what? The life lessons and the things that you know now, you were taught those things through the struggle, through those jobs that you hated, through those moments where, you know, you had to be a little bit more vulnerable and take put your pride aside to do that job that you didn't really want to do, but you had to. Those are the things that made you. Not the school that you went to, not the degree that you took, not the professor. They probably taught you one thing or two, but what really built your character were those moments where you had to put your pride aside and you had to not really care about any labels and you just had to work. Many people, many successful people have started as servers. Marie Forleo was a bartender and server for years. Damon John worked at Red Lobster for years while he was designing clothes. And that's why they're so successful because they're not afraid of including those parts of their life in their story that's making them successful and making them so inspirational today. Don't be ashamed of where you came from. That's the worst thing that you can do. And that's how you damage and destroy any chance of you being successful. Oh, 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 oh,